you really can't write this stuff. The FBI informant supposedly blowing the roof off of the Joe and Hunter Biden crimes conspiracy has himself been charged for lying about Joe and Hunter Biden's ties to the Ukrainian energy company Burisma, like pouring water on cotton candy and seeing it just evaporate before your very eyes. I know it's not evaporating. Uh, in a literal sense, this Biden crimes conspiracy stuff continues to just fall apart. The Associated Press reports an FBI informant has been charged with fabricating a multimillion dollar bribery scheme involving Joe Biden, his son Hunter and a Ukrainian energy company, a claim that is central to the Republican impeachment inquiry in Congress. They are referring to Alexander Smirnov, who falsely reported to the FBI back in 2020 that executives associated with the Ukrainian energy company Burisma paid Hunter and Joe Biden five million dollars each in 2015 or 2016. This is from the indictment of Smirnov. Smirnov told his handler that an executive claimed to have hired Hunter Biden to, quote, protect us through his dad from all kinds of problems. Prosecutors say Smirnov, in fact, had only routine business dealings with the company in 2017 and made the bribery allegations after he expressed bias against Joe Biden. He appeared briefly in court. He's 43 years old after being charged with making a false statement and creating a false and fictitious record. He did not enter a plea. And uh, ultimately, the judge ordered the courtroom cleared when the public defender asked for a closed hearing. Understand that the case was weaker than weak all along. And when Republicans would be asked on Fox News, well, what evidence do you have? They would go, well, we know about the payments, but we're just trying to figure out where is the crime and the details. Turns out the details of the payment were also completely fabricated. Now, if you want to see how committed and ideologically and morally vapid these Republicans are to this, I hate to call it a prosecution, this persecution of Joe Biden maybe is a better term on NBC News over the weekend after news of this, uh, these charges was was published. NBC's Kristen Welker asked Republican Congressman Mike Turner, listen, now that the informant has been charged and is accused of just making this stuff up criminally, are you going to back off of this whole Biden crimes thing? And Mike Turner says, no, why would we do that? A former FBI informant has been charged with lying about Joe and Hunter Biden seeking millions of dollars in bribes from a Ukrainian company, allegations that are really central to the Republicans' effort to impeach the president. Now, you voted to support this impeachment inquiry. Do you think it's responsible to continue this inquiry given these charges against the sure. FBI informant? Absolutely. I mean, this is, is this inquiry, and it is an inquiry, uh, is based upon actual bank records, documents, uh, transactions of money, large sums of money. Now, remember, that is it. It is true that they have records that Joe Biden has had money come into his accounts. There is no evidence of any kind linking it to Ukraine or to China. There's no evidence linking it to impropriety. There's no evidence linking it to crimes and there's no evidence linking it to any of the alleged wrongdoing by Hunter Biden. So when he says this is really based on bank records, it's sort of like if I'd show you showed you my credit card statement and it just shows I bought stuff, I got groceries, you know, I, I got some books and then you go, listen, we're launching an investigation based on credit card records. And go, OK, yeah, you're launching it based on credit card records. The records just don't show any wrongdoing. That's where they are with this right now. Uh, and doing an inquiry as to uh, you know, how these funds got to the Biden family uh, from international sources, China, Russia, uh, Ukraine. Uh, th that is certainly an issue that, that Congress needs to take up. And I think the investigation will continue. But uh, Judiciary Committee Chairman Jim Jordan said just a few weeks ago that the most corroborating evidence comes from this informant's allegations, and they are at the heart of the impeachment case. Even before that, Senator Senator Lindsey Graham said to me, there's no smoking gun. So can you justify continuing with this impeachment inquiry?
Yes, absolutely. We can justify it. Trump needs us to do it. I think you have to continue until it reaches its natural conclusion. But I'm I'm not surprised at all that a um, a business associate and associate of the the Biden family might be untruthful. Uh, but we'll just have to continue to see what the bank records, the transactions tell, how that story unfolds. Yeah, they've had those records now for a very long time. It tells no story. And when he talks about a natural conclusion, the natural conclusion is Joe Biden's been in public office for decades. And we have found no evidence of wrongdoing by Joe Biden, no evidence of criminality by Joe Biden and no impeachable offenses committed by Joe Biden. These people are completely devoid of principle and the crumbling of their major blockbuster informant having no impact whatsoever on their commitment to this impe impeachment inquiry is the proof that we've been waiting for. And now we have it.